Welcome to SolidCam Professor in an interactive one-day training course for iMachining. In this exercise, you will be guided through the CAM part definition process, which is necessary in SolidCam and iMachining. If you haven't already done so, perform step 1 by loading the SolidWorks model used in this exercise. Simply click on the file name exercise1.sldprt. If SolidWorks is not already opened, SOLIDWORKS and the model will launch automatically. In Step 2 of the CAM part definition process, you should review the CAM settings and ensure they are prepared for the exercises in this training book after starting SOLIDCAM. Go to the SOLIDWORKS main menu at the top of the screen, click the SOLIDCAM field, and choose SOLIDCAM settings. SOLIDCAM is started and the SOLIDCAM settings dialog box is displayed. First, go to CAM part in the list. There are two modes for how SolidCam will create a new CAM part, internal and external. Select the internal mode. Upon creating any new CAM parts, SolidCam will manage the CAM project with a single SolidWorks model file and store all CAM data inside the original .sldprt file. Internal is especially beneficial for users who build both the CAD and CAM, bringing SolidCam's integration to a whole new level. External handles the saving of a CAM project by building and working in an assembly. A copy of the original SOLIDWORKS model is generated, and all CAM data is created and stored outside the original .sldprt file. External is beneficial for CAM users without access to an engineering group's original SOLIDWORKS model. Although the CAM data is saved separately, it remains associative to the original .sldprt file. Further on in this training book, you will see the exercises that use already created CAM parts have been saved with the external mode and have compressed .prz file extensions. Next, go to default CNC controller in the list. Under Milling CNC controller, choose the G-Milling post for a 3-axis HAS SS since the machining throughout this course will be performed on a 3-axis CNC machine. By default, this will be the CNC machine controller selection when the milling part data dialog box is displayed. Lastly, go to automatic CAM part definition in the list. Note there are four important sections. Definition of CNC controller, definition of coordinate system, definition of stock, and definition of target. When these settings are enabled, SolidCAM automates the CAM part definition process. For the purpose of this exercise, Ensure that the automatic CAM part definition settings are disabled. Click OK to accept the solid CAM settings and close the dialog box. In step 2 of the CAM part definition process, the following actions have to be implemented to create the CAM part. Go to the SolidWorks main menu. Click the solid CAM field and choose Milling from the new submenu. The new Milling part dialog box is displayed. The first section shows that this new CAM part will be created using the internal mode, which was just selected as the default in the solid CAM settings. In the next section, the first field displays the name of the CAM part. In the case of internal mode, solid CAM uses the SolidWorks part name exercise1 by default with underscore milling, since this is a milling project. In the second field, a description can be provided to accompany the current CAM part. And the third field is just showing exactly what SOLIDWORKS model is being used for the CAM project and its directory location. Several CAM parts can be created and saved within a single SOLIDWORKS model file. Upon creating a new CAM part, the current ones will be listed here under Existing CAM Parts. Note, when opening a single SOLIDWORKS model file with several CAM parts, SolidCAM will prompt you and ask which one of the existing CAM parts you would like to open. Finally, you will notice that the units are set to metric, and the ability to select either metric or inch is locked. When creating a new CAM part using the internal mode, keep in mind that SolidCAM will always use the SolidWorks model units by default. Click OK to confirm the CAM part creation and close the new milling part dialog box. At this point, step 2 of the CAM part definition process is complete. If you have not followed along, 
Apply and practice the procedure shown in this video to start SolidCam and create the cam part.